Hello, welcome to the Maya Tool Belt. This is Michael. So, today I wanted to talk about a relatively simple tool. It's under the Modify menu. It's called Freeze Transformations. This is a pretty simple tool. It won't take too long to explain, but just to kind of show what it's used for. If you go to Create, Polygon Primitives, and I can choose whatever cylinder works. And if I were to move this over here and just scale this and rotate it, just do whatever to it to get different uh, shape. And I've modified this object. Okay. So now that I have this object, you can see over here in the channel box, translate X and Y have both been modified, rotate X, Y, and Z have all been modified, scale Y and Z have been modified, and so on. Okay. Makes sense. No problem there. However, if you wanted all of this to be back to its default values, like translate X, Y, and Z back to 1, or rotate X, Y, and Z back to 0, and scale X, Y, and Z back to 1, and so on, you can do this by freezing the transformations. So currently, all these transformations are as they are right now. If I go to Modify, Freeze Transformations, I can look in the options and go to Edit, Reset Settings, make sure I'm at my default values freeze transformations and you see over here in the channel box now zero is all the way down until you get the scale and it's one 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 however my object still has all the modified shape to it uh, that did not go back to the original shape or anything it just froze it as it is right now here at the current state of the model so there's lots of reasons why that could be useful let's say if you were modeling a head or something and I'm not going to model a head right now but just kind of show an example of when this might be uh, something you would find useful. Let's say I'm just going to rotate this sphere around and I'm going to go to this front view and I'm just going to delete half of it. A lot of times when you're modeling a face or something you might model one side of the face before you uh, so that you can just duplicate the model and mirror it over to the other side to get different shapes. And I'm just going to push and pull some points around and do different things. Nothing that's going to look anything like a face <laughs> in this uh, example. I'm just going to turn on some soft selection here just to do this kind of stuff to it. And I'm just going to modify this shape around a little bit. Alright, I'm going to scale it a little bit and, and so on. Alright, so now that I've got my pseudo head that I've spent hours and hours modeling and I'm going to mirror it over to the other side now. So the way you would do that typically is you would position your half head on the axis and I'm going to duplicate it and scale it negative one in the x axis to get to the other side. However you see my scale x right now is 2.031. So I could type in negative 2.031 and hit enter and it will mirror it over However, I could just select and say, you know what, I want to just mirror this over negative one value. I'm going to go to modify, freeze transformations, and now I can scale negative one, hit enter, and it would flip it to the other side. Make sure you duplicate it first. Here we go. Modify, freeze transformations, duplicate it, negative one in the scale X, and it mirrors it over. So that's just one example. So lots of different reasons why you might want to freeze transformations if you are wanting let's delete this and I'm just going to again create just a shape and not really do anything tangible to it but just kind of have something that I can use to show and let's just kind of rotate this like like this and do something like that and I'm going to move the pivot point back over here to the axis so let's say I want to duplicate this cube shape. I'm going to duplicate them and rotate them and have like a circle of all these cubes. So I'm going to duplicate this and I want to rotate it this way. No, I don't want to do that. So let's change it to say the world coordinates. I can rotate it like this, I suppose. But that's not quite what I want either. So I can undo that. And I want to rotate it say 45 degrees. So I can, but you see here over here in my channel box, when I start to rotate this, you know, all three axes are changing. I want to rotate it 45 degrees in one axis, but it's kind of confusing or whatever. 
So I can select this object, go to Modify, Freeze Transformations, and now I can just rotate it, Control D, and then rotate it like this, and say rotate it negative 30 degrees or 45 degrees, whatever it is I want, and then I can Shift D to get this kind of thing. And it was a lot easier to just freeze the object's transformations as opposed to trying to work with the current positioning, the information that it had. Okay, so that's freeze transformations. That's what it does in a nutshell. Let's go to the options. Look at modify, freeze transformations, options. So right off the bat, we see freeze, and we have check boxes for translate, rotate, and scale. And we can check those on or off. What that essentially means is you can choose whether you freeze, translate, rotate, and scale, like it is now with all the checks, or you can uncheck rotate, so only translate and scale will freeze or uncheck them all and none of them will freeze or just check one and so on. Now what is not checked by default is joint orientation. So if you're dealing with joints, which you can find in the rigging menu set under skeleton create joints, you can start to make uh, joint chains like this. So you can freeze transformations for joints as well and you can freeze the orientation of the joint, which can be important for uh, skeletons. Let's go ahead and delete my chain of joints here. We don't need that. And then we have uh, lock normals. Let's get back to that in a second. But then the next option here is preserve normals. So if I were to select this cube I have here, and I'm just going again do some random shaping to it and rotations and stuff. So I have this object here. Let's say that I select it and I scale it in a negative direction. So I'm going to scale it like this. You can see here my scale Z is negative. 5.22. So then we have preserved normals, checked on or off. It's checked on by default. So with it checked on, like it is by default, and I hit apply, so I've frozen all the transformations like we already know how to do. Preserved normals was turned on, so you'll see here my scale Z is a positive number, right? So let me undo the freeze. So scale Z is negative again. Let's turn off preserved normals and now hit apply. And now you'll see my normals have all been reversed, okay? So I've frozen the transformations. Because I had that negative scale, it flipped all my normals to be reversed. So now I would need to go to Mesh Display Reverse to get it back to normal or the way it should be. So preserving the normals, make sure that all those normals are uh, oriented correctly, even if a negative scale had happened. So it's usually good to have one. I usually just leave that on as it is. And then lock normals. By default, it's never. Then, there's always, then there is always. And then for non-rigid transformations only. Let's delete this and create a sphere. So let's see if this is a good example. So lock normals is never by default. So it never locks the normals. So what happens if you do lock the normals? Let's say always and apply. OK, so I've frozen the transformations and I've locked the normals. So if I grab this, let's just grab an edge loop like this and scale it in. You see that the edge is still soft. Okay, so that's expected. If I double click this and let's see if I go to Mesh Display Harden, you'll see what happens is it does not harden the edge. Okay, so the normal, the normal, the surface direction of this, of all of these edges that are associated with this sphere have been locked because I've locked the normals here. So if I try to adjust these normals by selecting the edge loop, for example, and going to mesh display, harden the edge, I'm hardening that normal direction. It's not going to do it because it's locked. Okay, so I've locked it. So let me actually select that edge loop, I can go to mesh display, you see here there is the unlock normals command, unlock normals, and now if I go to mesh display harden the edge, still doesn't harden it, so it's locked the normals of this object. Let me undo, 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 back before the freeze, I'll just make a new one I guess. Let's just make a new sphere, go to create, Polygon Primitives Sphere, so I'm going to scale this up like this, and Lock Normals, I'll say never for now, hit Apply, and then I'm going to grab an edge loop and scale it in, 
So again, the edge is still soft, like it should be. I'll grab that edge loop, go to Mesh Display, Harden Edge, and now you'll see the Harden effect happens with the normals of that edge loop. Okay, so the, hard, the normals were not locked. All right, that's what lock normals does for the options between never and always. Now the other option here is non-rigid transformations only. So only the non-rigid transformations only means it'll only affect objects that do not contain uh, shear or non-proportional scaling, shear, shear edges, shear angles. It's a little hard to explain, a little hard to demonstrate also. I'm not entirely, uh, off the top of my head, I can't really just come up with a good example for that. If you have an idea of how to demonstrate that, let me know. Maybe I'll make an addendum video for that purpose, just to show what this non-rigid transformations only refers to. In all my personal experience, I've always just kind of kept this for never. I usually like to have uh, control over the normals myself. If I want them hard or soft or changed in some way, I would do it myself. Uh, usually I would just keep the default options, edit, reset settings, and freeze, translate, rotate, and scale most of the time. Sometimes I have decided, you know what, I don't want to freeze the scale, I just want to freeze the others or whatever. You can do that. So freeze transformations in general is a pretty simple tool. It freezes your object, it zeroes out the channel box, so translates and rotates go back to zero, your scales go back to one, and you can continue from that point and your object is frozen in time at that position, and then you can change it after that with uh, without having to deal with the rotation values and translate values and scale values that you had up to that point. I think you'll find it useful for lots of situations. You just have to get into the situation where you, it's needed. For example, like, a, like the examples I showed earlier. Thanks again for watching and commenting and liking and subscribing. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate all the support you've given to this channel. Thanks again for watching, and I'll talk to you later.